Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the search engine optimization video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can optimize the home page of your website for the search engines. So we are going to work on the home page SEO optimization of your website. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and this is a demo website for a local business. Now these home page SEO practices can be applied to any website. It is not just for the WordPress website. If you have any other platform, you can follow the same points. So this is a local business website who is into the roofing services. So let's start with the header section of the website. In the header section, I have a logo which is clearly showing the name of the services or the business then I have the navigation menu so make sure that your website will have navigational menu at the top so that the visitor will be able to see all the pages they will be able to access all the sections of your website from the navigational menu bar after that I have a phone number so customer will be able to contact me using this phone number in the navigation menu you will see that I have a button for all the services and you will see a drop down menu for the services. So the visitors will be able to go to the services directly from the navigation menu. This is also useful for the internal linking. So all your categories and main pages will have internal link back from the home page. Right now below that I have the banner section and on the banner I have a contact form. So this is again a call to action for the customers they will be able to contact your business directly from the banner section they will be able to fill up the form from the banner section and they will get in touch with you and i also have some text on the banners this content on the banner will highlight the services and the positive points of your business so i have the call to action at the beginning of the website so if you are running a service based website you can have the banner and the call to action at the top if you are selling products then you can highlight the best selling products in the banner section below that i have the list of all the services then i have some content about the business and its services you will see some content here who we are what kind of services we provide then we have some images Below that again, I have call to action. Call to action is very important on your website so that the customer will get in touch with you. Then I have some reviews and after reviews, I have the blog post. Even if you are running a local business or service based website, make sure that your website will have a blog. Try to publish some articles on your blog. You can show the blog post on the home page of the website. Below that I have footer section. And again, I have links going to the services in the footer sections. Then I have the contact details, the phone number and the email address and some information about the business. At the bottom, I have the social media icons. If you have social media accounts, you can add the social media icons in the footer. Again, I have some copyright text. Now let's move on to the points that we need to consider for the on page SEO. I'm using a WordPress website and there are many free SEO plugins that you can use to optimize the home page. In this example, I'm using Yoast SEO free plugin. I have already published a video on how to optimize your website page or the post using the free Yoast SEO plugin or the free rank math SEO plugin. I'll give you the links in the description box if you want to watch that video. So here I'm on the home page. Let's go to the edit section. I'm using Elementor on this website. If you are using the default Gutenberg, you will see the home page edit section like this. Now this is a part of on page SEO settings. Using Yoast SEO, you can improve the on page SEO settings of your website. Here you can add the SEO title and meta description. Make sure that your SEO title will consist the focus keyword of your business. In this case, I'm using a focus keyword, New York Roofing. Okay, so this is my focus keyword and the website is in the roofing services in the New York City. So this is basically the focus keyword of the business. So make sure that your SEO title will have the same keyword. This applies to all SEO plugins, not just the Yoast SEO. You can use a rank math free SEO plugin or all-in-one SEO plugin. Make sure to optimize the title and the meta description. You can also add your business name in the SEO title. Again, in the meta description, you need to add your focus keyword like this. Here you will see SEO analysis and you will see some points that you need to consider for the on-page SEO. For example, here it says that I do not have any outbound link. So I can put some outbound links which will go to some third-party website. This is 
a content and I can select any of the text from here and I can link it back to some third party website. If you have YouTube video, you can put the video on the home page and link it back to the YouTube video. So that will give you one outbound link. If you are using Elementor, you can see the Yoast SEO settings here also. If I go to the drop down, it will give you the same information here. You can go through all the points. I have already published a video on on pages here. You can watch that video. Now here you will see some good points that I have already covered. Images are good, internal links. You will see the internal links back to the service pages. Then we have key phrase in the introduction. In the introduction at the top, I have the key phrase mentioned. All right, the keyword density is also good. So the same focus keyword is four times on this page. Key phrase in SEO title is there. Meta description in the meta description also meta description length is good so all these points are covered some points are not covered yet outbound link so i can put the outbound link here now the next point to remember is that you should have some content on the home page you cannot simply put some links going back to services or some blog post showing on the home page apart from these services and blog post section make sure that you will have some content on the home page in that content you can describe something about your business the services that you offer so that will give you some content and that will clear these on page seo and the next point is call to action so you should have some call to actions if you are running local business make sure that you have call to action just like this where customer will be able to contact you in the beginning as well as at the end of the page the next point is image optimization on your home page make sure that you will have some images describing your business or the services for example i have one image here so i can go to this image select the image and make sure that you have alt text for this image here you can see that i have the keyword as alt text for this particular image so if you have multiple images one of these images should have the focus keyword as alt text not all the images only one image can have the alt text as the focus keyword for the other images you can have the synonyms of your focus keyword for example this is tfo roofing for this image i can use this particular service as the alt text about this image this is about metal roofing so i can use this service name as the alt text for this particular image so make sure that all the images are optimized and if you have multiple images then try using the image optimization plugins such as smush or imageify these plugins will reduce the file size of the image and it will make your website load faster if you have heavy images it will reduce the file size and it will increase the page load speed you can also use the free tools to analyze the page speed of your website for example you can use this google page speed insights this is a free tool it will show you the page speed of your website and it will give you the reasons why the page is loading slower so you can work on that and improve the page speed this is another website gt metrics it will also give you the analysis of the page speed of your website so you need to make sure that your website will load faster and for that you can use the image optimization plugin also you can use cache plugins there are some free cache plugins which will help you improve the speed of your website in the upcoming videos i'm going to work on the cache plugins i'll show you how to use the cache plugins on the wordpress website to optimize your website for the better speed the next point is use the reviews on the website. If you are running a local business, then make sure that you will add some reviews on the home page of the website so that the customer will see how good is your business. If you have Google reviews, you can add the Google reviews on your website. This will improve the trust factor on your website. Next point is add the blog on the home page. I have already explained to you even if you are running small website, Try to publish some articles about your own business. Some Write some articles and publish the articles on your blog. The next point is add schema markup on your homepage. If you are running the free SEO tools, you will see an option to add the schema markup. I'm using Yoast SEO and I have an option to add the schema. So this will explain the search engine crawlers about your business. I have already covered this in the on-page SEO video. You can watch that video for more information. And the next point is about building the internal links and the external links. Internal links will go to the pages on your website. 
such as the service pages. So on this home page, I have already added the links going back to the service pages and try to add one external links which will go to the third party website. As I said earlier, if you have YouTube video, you can add YouTube video and add a link back to YouTube video. The home page is the main page of your website. So if you are creating backlinks to your website, then make sure that your home page will have more backlinks. So in the upcoming videos, I'm going to cover the backlinks topic, how to get the backlinks, what are the sources to get the backlinks to your website, because backlinks is one of the important factor when it comes to search engine optimization. If I missed any other point about the home page SEO, let me know that in the comment section. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.